you know, it's unfortunate that, that these guys are really becoming rare. When David Schmetterling began looking at Western Montana Sculpin, he discovered a troublesome trend. You know, just in 10 years, we've seen dramatic changes in their distribution. Streams that they once occurred and were once abundant, to the point where you think that they, you know, they're always going to be there, they're gone now. Sculpin are a common fish found in Western Montana waterways. And because of their sensitivity to stream conditions, they are a good indicator for changes in the environment. If one, one of the reasons they're such a good indicator of pollution or environmental change is because like slimy sculpin, they don't move around very much. They may spend their entire lives in, a, in an area the size of this pool. So they're an incredible recorder of the environment here. Oh, there you go. There's the charismatic mega mega sculpin. As fish crews focus more attention on sculpin, they hope it will shed more light on Montana's other native fish. Because sculpin plays such a critical role in streams and rivers, changes that we're seeing to their distribution are going to have changes to other species as well. And then understanding what happens to these little fish um, will make a big difference in how bigger fish like cutthroat or bull trout uh, persist over time. Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife and parks.